Good evening, everybody. This is Yusuf with a boxing video. Today, I'm going to talk about um, my reaction versus Spence versus Ugas. But before that, I want to talk about who I decided to pick for the winner of the fight before the fight. Before the fight, I chose Ugas because Spence was inactive, two year inactivity. Um, he pulled out the fight with Manny Pacquiao and with an eye retina problem. And before the eye retina problem, he was in a car crash. And I just felt like, you know, Spence is a good fighter, but I didn't wasn't sure what his mental state, his inactivity, him not, you know, not being a fully 100% to fight Ugas, Ugas who's been way active. Ugas was very active. He beat Manny Pacquiao. He got a controversial loss against Sean Porter, which I think he won. But uh, nonetheless, a uh, day of the fight, you know, Ugas and Spence, uh, Ugas was very much in the fight within the first five or six rounds. He was in the fight, um, giving Spence all he can handle. Um, Spence was winning probably a round or two, but Ugas was still in there to win. Um, as the fight kept going, Spence proved that none of the tangibles matter. He proved that the layoff didn't matter. He proved that um, the eye render problem was not a problem. And he came in there like a bull. He came in there throwing punches coming forward, stalking, stalking uh, Ugas from round one to, like, I guess, I think around eight or nine where the fight was originally stopped due to Ugas' eye having shut his eye. But um, nonetheless, Spence fought very beautiful. I underestimated Spence in this particular fight, and um, I took my hat off to him for being the best fighter he can be right now in the game. Um, I would love to see him fight Terrence Crawford. And I think now, since his last performance against Ugas, it's a much closer fight. But uh, with that being said, God bless and everybody enjoy your day.